it's exciting to know that many of the things we learned about ourselves, the things that used to limit us, like what a human mind is and what benefit is and what our capacity is as human beings, all of this is totally made up. It's very made up. Whatever limits us is not aligned with reality. Because our reality, our mind, exactly as it is, open intelligence, is completely free of all limitations and all restrictions. And for me, this is great news and it's something that I'm totally dedicated to discover in my day-to-day -day life because I had many years of seeing only limitations, only restrictions. Even if you think that you're totally free, we're in Goa and it's sunny and cows are going walking around on the beach and freedom and carnivals and free people and free spirit. Look, the, the attempt of most people, and that was definitely myself, it was how can I stay constantly in this high of positive thinking? How can I stay there and never let go? Never let go of the good thought and the good vibe that I just uh, cultivated right now by going there, doing this or whatever. You see, that's an addiction. That's the most fundamental addiction ever. And that's how I used to live my life, wanting to feel good all of the time. Now, it's not bad to want that, right? It will be silly if I'll sit and I say I want to feel bad all of the time and that will be my dedication in life. But to see that in short moments of open intelligence, the, in the entire constellation of this confusion is opening up. We can completely relax in every moment exactly as we are. Not more or less, exactly as we are. Totally intellectual, totally fed up with life, totally depressed and said, welcome. Welcome to reality as it is. This is the offering of Balanced View where we s finally exalt people and speak to people like the great beings that they are wonderful, exalted, totally capable, not broken pieces of nothing that need to repent sins of a million years, or needing to correct the flow of their own thoughts and emotions. That's self-abuse and self-oppression. So we stop that in short moments many times. Short moments of allowing our power to be exactly as it is. And it at times doesn't feel comfortable, and especially in the beginning, because a negative thought can come up like, oh, I'm, I'm just complaining now, or I see only blame and hatred all around me. And then suddenly we have an, a, a choice there to either indulge and do the same mistake that we did all of our life before, indulging, avoiding or replacing the thoughts and emotions, or now relying on open intelligence that includes and contains all of these thoughts and emotions inseparable from them like the color blue in the sky. Our mind is pristine and totally clear always, not sometimes or from 6 to 7 a.m. in the morning, always. Always and forever. So this is the before, during and after. Totally clear all of the time. We just didn't recognize it. I know that I didn't recognize it. I attempted very hard to achieve a state of bliss and I, I attempted very hard to achieve to a certain state of mind and, and hold, in, hold on to it. Very, very, I, I was totally dedicated to that, really. I traveled to India again and again. I looked for the answers. I looked for truth. I looked for reality. And what I found is states and confusion. Because after a great state, there's always the calm down. Some of you are smiling, so you know what I'm talking about. I achieved it. Yeah, I got it. That's it. The end of all. Seeking and searching. And now I'm that. And then suddenly something comes up and you think about your home country or the, you read something in the news or, and that's gone. The negativity comes back. Open intelligence is always present. So when we stop thinking for a moment, we see what remains openness, clarity and cognizance. This is open intelligence. And this introduction is so clear and potent because once you identify and introduce yourself to open intelligence, hi, nice to meet you, I ignored you <laughs> for 25 years, that was my case. I knew you were there, couldn't, f 
but I couldn't really name it or, or connect to it. So stop thinking for a moment and that's open intelligence, boom, right there. Short moments of instinctive recognition of open intelligence, they clarify years and years and years of confusion, and of belief systems and assumptions, even if they are great belief systems and assumptions, it clarifies all of that in an instant. Completely relaxing as we are. Ideas about identity. So I traveled a lot in India, being no one. No one is there. No one is talking to you right now. One extreme. Someone is there. <laughs> Another extreme. Open intelligence is present with, within all of this extreme. That's brilliant. Because I, when, when I heard in the beginning, there's no need to take any extreme. Ten years of, of educating myself in a certain way, they collapsed in an instant. And I was like, ha, ah, brilliant. <laughs> wow, I wasted quite a lot of time <laughs> thinking <laughs> otherwise. So it was refreshing. There was heartbreak as well. And I was humbled to recognize reality as it is. It's not a state, so short moments many times, it's a way to gain confidence in this open intelligence, which is our fundamental nature, you can say. <coughs> our most basic nature as human being, beings. If we sit there and we attempt to change the flow of our data streams, you're just complaining and you think, how can my speech be beneficial? And we try to micromanage it. It's very confusing. Allow yourself to be as you are for short moments many times. If you complain for like 25 years, 30 years, 60 years, and then you're introduced to short moments of open intelligence, it will take a while. Like we heard, it takes a while. So one step at a time. Don't beat yourself up for like suddenly saying, but it's great that you're noticing. Now you see, I actually have a choice. So once you remember that, I had an, like after completing the 12 empowerments, which is one of the most beautiful trainings of Balanced View, that shows everything very clearly in our own experience, including relationships and how we used to avoid them. I, I completed it and I felt really great. And, and then I thought, okay, everything is harmonized and clear. And again, that's it. I know what is open intelligence, but then I flew back home and, and started to have conversations with my family and I saw the same things coming up again. The cynicism, the sarcasm, pushing the buttons, you know, just stabbing a little bit so I can make my point clear and all of that. And I felt very deeply, it was almost heartbreaking for me to feel it so strongly for the first time and say, wait, so I want to choose something else. I want to take responsibility for empowering all of my relationships and empowering my body, speech, mind, qualities and activities. Now this can seem like a task. How can I empower the body, the speech, the qualities, the activity? Uh, it comes in complete relaxation. So <laughs> It's not like, okay, hey sinful person, wake up and fix yourself. <laughs> it's, hey amazing person, listen to a download from our media table write down the text or watch a video or come to an open meeting, join a one-day training and th then you see, wow, it it's totally made up. I can be totally negative all of the time. <laughs> Speaking in front of so many people, it's a great example because you sit there in your chair, you feel like you're going to vomit or die. <laughs> Depends on the heat and the amount of people. And, and, and then you come up and all you can share is the gratitude of living a life of complete benefit for all. When you re realize or release a statement like the benefit of all, you might think about butterflies and flowers and depends which generation you're coming from or the end of I don't know what, but we are of benefit to all by allowing ourselves to be exactly as we are in short moments. There's immediate benefit. There's immediate relief in that. Try it right now in your own experience. I tried it and I can tell you, wow, it's so good. It's better than everything. <laughs> the perce complete perceptual openness in all experience. This is the freedom I was looking for in all my attempts before. This is the freedom, the freedom to be as I am. And then by that empowering true social change within myself and with everyone I meet.
because it's no longer taking myself or anyone else to be a victim of their data streams. What an amazing relief. I thought that I was a victim before, so if I feel negative about you or about myself, it means that something is wrong and needing to be fixed. So my focus was very much self-focus, al al although always I wanted the best in every, all of my relationships, to my little cats in, in a, a garden, to my family, I always want, but I didn't know, there was a lot of confusion. Because how someone who wants to be in great relationships and want to be of benefit can feel negative? How can I think these thoughts about people that I love and care for, or about myself? How can self-hatred be there day and night? So these are questions that took me by the nose. And when I met Balanced View, there was just like, okay. In the beginning, I didn't understand much, I have to admit. But when I started to taste open intelligence, rather than just talking about it, but really take it in, in short moments many times, then I saw that my experience is perfect as it is. I'm no longer fighting the demons of confusion or the ghosts of uh, depression that used to plague me for years. I'm, I'm totally friends with them. They're inseparable from open intelligence. I don't notice them anymore. You can say I'm depressed all of the time. <laughs> Complete perceptual openness right there. There's no longer focus on the descriptions. It's like the sun outshining all planets and stars that were very vi visible at night. All of the data streams, you can name them. Master. And then suddenly the sun of open intelligence comes and outshines all of them. It doesn't get rid of them. Just the bright shine of open intelligence outshines all of them. So this is the lived experience. We are still human beings. We are totally normal yet powerful. That's a dignified life, the life that everyone should live. So that's why we are speaking, regardless of feeling like you're going to vomit or what do they think about me right now. And we just want to share the benefit of living life as it should be lived. Not the made up ideas about everything. See how, I mean, I considered very deeply, especially in the training of Balance View, the written training, how I used to limit myself. Not good enough. Flawed. Maybe I, I did something wrong in, in my mother's womb. And then I read a book that emphasized that that's the case. So I feel, oh, even more shame that I think and feel. Gone. <laughs> Complete stop. Empowerment in every moment, that's the way to live. And it's empowerment in everyday life activities. Also, if you're in a good state, everything is happy and great, perfect. You, it's perfect. That's also included in open intelligence. But always to prioritize what will be of most benefit to all. Then the perspective about life, it's like going up on a mountaintop, the highest mountain you can find, and seeing everything clearly from there. That's great mastery in everyday life activity and the stability. The stability that I was so longing for, I was so thirsty for finding stability in, in all of my experiences, it's found in open intelligence. Open intelligence is us. So it's not, I'm not pointing to the sky or to the ground or to the past. Open intelligence is spontaneously present always. That's what you get to recognize. Living an empowered life is guaranteed for those of us who are using the Four Mainstays, the short moments, the training. We have a one day on Saturday, which is great to, to check it out. The trainer, people who can share their experience of living human life, empowered human life, and the community of Balanced View. These are the Four Mainstays. Simple, yet very profound way to educate ourselves in reality, exactly as it is.